Here we're looking at a button that I've created using the vector tools inside Photoshop. And it's pretty simple. I've got a few layer styles, some grading overlays, some drop shadow, a little piece of text here to make up this kind of web semi-gloss button. And what I've done is I've exported this as a PSD. And at some point you may need to have a vector file, maybe to share with someone else who needs it for another project or to get a high resolution export from the graphics that you've created inside of Photoshop. I want to show you what happens when you bring in a PSD just inside of Adobe Illustrator. What it tries to do is convert it the best it can, basically just into an image file. If I zoom in on here, you can see this is pixel information. Now you can export paths to Illustrator from Photoshop, but what I want to show you is the power of Autodesk graphic working with PSD files. I'm going to take that same Photoshop document and bring it right into Autodesk graphic. And what you'll see is that everything that we created in Photoshop has been imported perfectly into Autodesk graphic. Everything's on its own layer, just as we had over here in Photoshop. But now this is proper vector information. We can get at it. We can get at these objects. And you can see that all of the layer styles have been translated into appearance effects over here in the appearance panel. So our drop shadows are intact, all of our color fills, our gradient fills. And if you needed to get this into Illustrator, from here it's actually very easy. We could export it as a PDF or an SVG that both work great with Illustrator. Or we could simply select what we want I'm going to go ahead and merge these into one layer. So I'm just going to merge visible. And I'm just going to copy. And we can copy and paste vectors right into Illustrator. Look at this. And now I have access to all of my pieces in here. Look at that. So what it's done is it's maintained all of our appearance effects using clipping masks. If you look in the layers panel, that's what you'll see. And it's maintained our editable text, as you can see here, and all of our vector information. So I hope that helps you if you like using Photoshop like I do, but maybe give you a new workflow if you need to get vector graphics for your project or for high resolution. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.